Hi guys, welcome to a walk around of a three bed, two bath detached villa here on Latari Golf Resort. Anyone that knows resort will actually see that this is a Sabina. So this was originally a two bed, two bath villa that has been modified and this is nothing short of stunning, this villa. Um, so I'm gonna have a little walk through now and see what you think about it. So as usual, we're out on a, on a very well maintained tree line road just outside the actual villa itself. Okay, you've got plenty of parking, as you can see, opposite the actual villa, loads and loads. And then of course, you've also got your own private off-street parking as well. Right, let's have a walk through and I'm just gonna point out things as I go, okay, that I notice. Again, don't forget, we do the videos a little bit differently to other people. We don't do rubbish music and we don't tell everyone everything's fantastic. I'm giving you information. I'm giving you basically um, as if you were here. Um, so, you know, if we were actually touring, I'm, I'm trying to do it as close to that as possible. So, first thing I'll notice is that these pergolas have obviously just been treated, uh, okay? They literally look brand new. So they've just been revarnished and retreated, okay? Then coming up towards the actual entrance of the villa. Again, I can see these are the natural tiles, as are these, but these have obviously been uh, what they call sealed. Okay, what basically that means is just, uh, you know, could, because these are porous tiles, the original tiles are all porous. If you drop red wine on it, if you drop any kind of drink on it, it's very difficult to get out because it like, basically stains through into the tile. Um, whereas these are, are obviously sealed, so they'll just come off. They'll just wipe off very easily. Um, I believe the roof has also been done like this as well. So anyway, we'll chat that when we get up there. Okay, so walking into the actual villa itself. So this obviously has been added um, because that wouldn't have been there originally. And a lot of people put these in um, because otherwise, of course, you could just walk through and up to your um, so a lot of people do add these in on this style villa. So let's start downstairs. So as anyone that's seen any videos of Sabina Villas of mine, um, these, are, these are lovely entrances on Sabinas because it's pretty much the only villa type that you have a proper hallway when you walk in. So you're not walking straight into the lounge or anything like that. You're walking into quite a very decent sized hallway. Okay, so let's get in. Okay, so like I said, Got this nice cabinet area here, um, obviously perfect for, for bits and pieces to, to, to store, shoes, whatever you wanna use it for. Um, and then you've got the big double doors going into the lounge there. I'm sure people will notice already something different about this filler. Um, and then if I turn around to the right, as you walk in the door, you've got a kitchen. This one has been added. This actually wasn't, this wasn't here before and I'll show you what they've done there in a minute. And then the two bedrooms are to the, to the rear of the villa. Okay, so because this is uh, so different, I'm gonna start over here because it's absolutely stunning. So you walk through the big double doors into the lounge. Okay, so what they've done here, um, how they've made this a free bed is they've put a mezzanine level directly above me now where I'm standing. Um, just to give you an idea, that's high. I mean, that's, you know, I can touch it just if I'm stretching. I'm not the tallest, I'm about 5'9", but you know, I've got a stretch really to, to touch the ceiling there. So there's plenty of um, headspace as you walk in. You've got one of these uh, really cool kind of dining tables that kind of all go into a cube when you're not using it. And obviously you pull them out when you're using it. The bay window's there on my left. And the living room, the main living room area, lounge area on my right, you can see it's furnished absolutely beautifully. It really does feel modern. It feels new, it feels fresh. You know, I can, you can tell these are really new. Um, they've hardly been used. There's no signs of wearing them at all. Got a nice big TV over here, which looks uh, a 55 inch over here. Um, AC, which again is not any of the, the original ones. So that's new, it's an LG one. Um, and that's an inverter, so that's heating and cooling. And don't forget, of course, there is central heating throughout on all properties on the Torrey. Um, but obviously a lot of people use the, the machines because they are more economical um, than the gas. Um, and then if you look up, you can see the actual mezzanine level where they put another bedroom. It looks really nice, really modern. I really like it, the way they've done it here. So while we're here, let's just pop up the stairs to the mezzanine. Okay, so you can see these steps are like almost telling you which foot to put on first. So up the steps. Very easy really to come up. And then you're up on this level here where you've got two proper full size single beds up here. And again, head height's pretty good. Um, I'd say it's about six foot, the head height up here. Really nicely done. 
And throughout is just this kind of frosted glass. And then, of course, you're just looking straight down onto the lounge where we've came from. So, yeah, really like the way it's been done. There are a few different ways of um, adding a bedroom on Sabina's. Some people do it this way. Some people put it on the solarium on top. They do a small one, basically closing in the tower, which I don't think works. Uh, and then you get ones that add a, a big double on suite on the solarium, which does work, um, but obviously takes up a big, big chunk of your solarium. Me, if I had a villa, this, if I had this style villa and wanted another bedroom, this is exactly the way I would do it with the mezzanine. Really nice furniture inside. Let's pep outside. Yeah, again, I mean, just lovely, lovely furniture throughout. Um, this, I've been told, is, is very new, um, recently purchased. Um, you've got another, it looks like another 55 inch uh, up on the wall here. So this is obviously an area that's used quite a bit. You've got a very, very nice gas barbecue over here as well. It really has been done lovely. This just basically obviously leads down to a small gate, which goes out onto the front of the villa. Again, the, the pergolas here look like they've been freshly redone. And not only the pergola's been redone, but they've also got this kind of covering. That's here and on the entrance as well. Just keeps it more shaded. Then coming out into the main garden area, you've got a large kind of a shed slash storage cupboard over here. Obviously some, some beds have been set out for me here. And then again, this lovely pool. You know, these, these tiles are really nice. They're very modern. You know, they're kind of gray, very modern. Um, nothing like the originals, which were the original square terracottas. Um, and it just gives it a really nice, fresh, modern feel. The pool is a great size as well. Um, I would say that's an eight by three or an eight by four, um, but it's certainly um, eight long. And I would say that's an eight by four, I would say. Um, it's just it's done in a, in a kind of a modern sink straight into the floor way so it's quite difficult to tell but i reckon that's an eight by four um looks great nice and clean and let's see if we can get you know some good shots down here for you the other thing which we'll see in a minute where we go to the bedrooms you'll see a window there which is one of the bedrooms and a door here that this door here would have originally been a, a window like that so they've taken out the window and put the doors in. And you can, of course, do the same there if you wanted, but obviously this is probably the master. Uh, well, it is the master, so this is why this one's been done and this one's been left as windows. And then down the side, it's the same. You've just got a, a walkway down with a gate there, which takes you to the front of the house. Really is stunning. Looks beautiful and modern. You know, I go around a lot of uh, property, obviously. It's always nice to get one like this. It's really, really been done nicely. Okay, let's head through. Giving you another little look before we head. Right, so let's go through the double doors, back to the hallway. And straight across, so this is your entrance in of course, straight across to the kitchen. So the kitchen, as you can uh, probably see if you've seen any of these videos, all of the worktops have been replaced here. This is some sort of granite or silestone. The original cupboards are in. The original hood is here as well, but this has all been replaced as well. So this is the, the actual oven and the ceramic hob. That's an induction hob. That's all been upgraded, of course. Loving the, uh, loving the kettle and the toaster, very kind of retro. Yeah, looks great. You know, there's not much been done actually in here when, you know, considering where we've just come from. Um, but the actual worktops, changing the oven, the ceramic hob, it actually makes quite a difference. It makes it, again, feel nice and fresh. And then, of course, as we've all seen, as they have their separate utility. Okay, this door just leads out to the front of the house. This is obviously where your, your gas boiler is um, and also where your washing machine is. And, of course, it's a utility, right? So you can put whatever else out here you want. Yeah, really impressed with this house so far. So let's head towards the bedrooms. So bedrooms are, are here to their rear. Now this would always have just been a wall here, but generally when you go into the master of a Sabina, you've got a gap literally to the right of it, which is kind of, un, you know, nobody uses it for anything. So what these guys have done is they've actually went right back. Um, where, where they went back, they've actually gone, gone back even further and then they've made a fantastic storage cupboard. Well, this is a great size. I mean, brilliant for, I mean, these, these guys are obviously just using it for towels and sun lotions and toilet roll and things like that. 
But what a great idea because this was just lost space before, you know, he used to just walk through this. Well, in fact, that door would have been a little bit further over. So they've just moved it around all slightly um, and it works really well. It just gives you a great storage cupboard there. Okay, and then first door we hit now is to the right, which is the master. So walking in here now almost direct well directly ahead as you walk through the door is the ensuite so with that storage cupboard this originally would have went back further but it was kind of lost space so i quite like the way they've done that so the ensuite so as you can see shower has been fitted in looks very very recent i mean in fact the owner has told me it's very recent so this is a, a new shower that's just been fitted obviously that's where the the bidet would originally have been, which most people have taken them out because then that just gives you a space to put in your dirty towels or whatever, or saw towels, etc. It's got the window, every important window that people like in the bathroom. This has obviously been replaced from the original. Funnily enough, that is the original, but that's obviously not. Um, but yeah, basically the, the best thing they've done here is remove the bidet, taken out the bath and put in a nice modern shower. Okay, so on suite's good. Out right onto the, to the actual master room. So you've got a nice big bed here. Um, I would say that's a, I think that's a queen, but it's a good size bed. And then, like I said, originally this would have been windows here, um, but they've actually put doors in. Fantastic. Straight out onto the pool. Not a bad thing to do in the mornings. Lovely. So back in, you've got inbuilt wardrobes, of course, as always, just here. And like I said, AC units up here, all the AC uh, inverter units, I should say, not AC inverter, because it's hot and cold. And they're all new, they're all LG. Um, so, you know, again, there's just no cost here. Every, and, and everything that's been done has been done really nicely. Right, from the master. Coming out directly ahead is the family bathroom. It's a big old bathroom, this. So again, that's where the bidet would have been originally, it's been taken out. Um, this is all new, so new sink, new mirror here. And of course, this, all this tiling is new as well, just makes it look much more modern. Left the bath in this time, I think always people always want one shower, one bath. And then you've also got this nice clear glass screen here. So yeah, again, looks great. And of course the towel heater here, which is all connected to the gas central heating. So out, turn left into bedroom two. So been set up this time as a twin. Which we'll look straight at into the garden slash pool area. Inbuilt wardrobes as usual. And again, the same LG inverter unit up here. It's a beautiful villa, this one. Um, it really is. It is uh, it's coming on, I believe, at 199,995. So it's just shy of 200,000 euros. But it's been done beautifully. It's really modern, really nice. Um, you know, I, I would never have done it any, any different. Back out into the garden, sorry, what I failed to mention. So orientation wise, so if I'm standing with my villa directly to my back, this is pretty much east, okay? So where the sun is now is south. Um, it's come up around 12 o'clock now. So that's around south facing now. So what this means is right now, as you can see, that's going to stay, the, the sun is basically going to stay on this part of the, of the villa, probably for at least another hour, an hour and a half. And then it will pass over. Don't forget, of course, all these villas have solarium. So if you wanted to chase the sun, you can. Um, but in summer, um, of course, the sun is a lot, lot higher. So from certainly end of May, beginning June, right through till the end of September, you're going to have the sun here most of the day because the sun is so high in the sky. Um, so you're going to get it the vast majority of the day then. But in winter, um, just bear in mind, you're going to lose it around about one-ish, half past one, something like that. And then, of course, if you want more sun, you just go upstairs to your solarium. So I didn't mention that, so I just wanted to pop out and do that. So back through the beautiful lounge. One place we've still not seen. I'm trying to get this video done. I, I know that there is a time limit to, to people's patience, so I'm trying to run around it as quick as I can. So up the stairs to the solarium. So this has all been sealed. Okay, which basically means they've all been sanded back and, and a seal and put on them. So it just protects them against spillages and, and water. And up to the solarium. So again, if anyone knows the Sabinas, you'll know that you get beautiful, fantastic sized solariums up here. Again, been towed by the owner. This furniture up here is all new. Okay. 
looking fantastic. Looks really good. And of course that's your exterior units for your AC. And of course the sun is here all day long. So if you wanted to chase the sun, you can literally just stay up here all day. Fantastic. That's it guys. Okay, so it's just shy of 200. I believe it's 199,995. It is a three bed, two bath. Um, it's on, uh, well, you, I've had a good walk around so I can give you any specs that you need. Just give us a shout and let us know. Um, but it's beautifully done, very modern. Um, you know, just a stunning villa. Um, if you're ever gonna make a Sabina into a three bed, two bath for me, this is the best example I've ever seen of that. Um, and I've seen a lot. Um, I think the whole house has been modernized beautifully um, inside and outside. Um, any questions at all, let me know.